Hi guys, welcome to another Asus Transformer Prime tablet video. This video is bookend in the first two that I did on unboxing the device and feel and function. I just want to clarify a few things and I've noticed a few more things that I want to address. First of all, in the first video I did, uh, I, we looked at the cable, uh, this proprietary cable that's used only for the Asus Transformer Prime. Uh, the good aspect of it is that it is USB connected to the plug side of it. The problem is that we have the proprietary cable here, so you can't just go into a cheap um, store and buy a pound shop like micro USB or iPad iPhone cable, it's just not going to work and checking on the website these do cost about £10 at the moment so quite expensive I've found that with um, portable devices you like to have cables all over the place upstairs, downstairs, um, charging in the car and so on but unfortunately this is the only cable that works and they're not readily available so just something to consider when you do purchase the product next thing I want to have a look at is the actual device itself I forgot to mention something that is quite important in terms of its usability. If you look uh, across the side here on the front end, there is no kind of grip or in, in groove where you could put your finger or your thumb to open up the device. Um, if I just kind of demonstrate on a much larger laptop, a uh, standard laptop, you can see here, I hope, that this bit here is kind of an incline so you can get your finger underneath the lid of a laptop and lift it open, which makes it quite easy. Not the same on the Transformer Prime, which makes it not impossible or difficult, just slightly untricky and uncomfortable. Sometimes you have to lift it like that, get your finger underneath it and then lift it open. Or at the front, just again, just having to just jar your finger in in some way, just in order to lift open the lid. Not as easy as it could have been if it was just like a little groove or incline sort of here, which made you put the thumb underneath, oh sorry, under the keyboard here, where you could just put your thumb underneath it and then lift it open. Because, as I said before, it is quite top heavy, so it can be quite difficult. If I just try and lift it, you see that the tablet's just lifting open. You have to press down on here as well, so getting your fingers in between can be quite difficult. Next thing I uh, wanted to demonstrate was, as I said here, this um, base here, which is a connecting part, which connects the dock to the keyboard, is quite heavy, which means that the um, tipping point of the um, device is quite low. If I just open up a game, that's opened up to its extent, and I'm going to show this in a horizontal fashion as well, but if I just push that, you'll see when it tips over, it's quite early on in the process of uh, there's not much of a degree there where it's going to stay on its side because it's top heavy. So into shaky cam mode now to demonstrate its tipping point. If I just start to push the device and you'll see when it goes. So there it went. Tips. The tipping point is about here. So maybe about an inch off the floor. Maybe an inch or two and it goes. And I'm. I'm you may be wondering why I'm labouring on this point, but when you have a device on your lap, which is kind of what tablets are used for when you're just sort of on the sofa, in bed or in a similar situation, when the uh, laptop keyboard dock is not flat, you kind of do have it in this angle here. So about here it's starting to fall away and it does fall onto your legs. So just something to note there in terms of its design. Just tipping right there. OK, on to the next point, turning the tablet on and off. If it's plugged into its keyboard dock like this, if you open a device, it automatically turns on. If you close the device, it automatically turns off. I did also mention that there is a lock key here, which is effectively the same as turning it off. And then I mentioned that there didn't appear to be a button which unlocked the or turned on the tablet if it was in this state, already opened. That's not strictly the case, there's a setting on the tablet which enables you to press any key to unlock the device and just like that it turns back on. One more thing, somebody asked me if the keyboard was backlit if you press anything, unfortunately it isn't. Just to demonstrate I'll do a search and then type in some stuff and obviously there's no lights coming on so unfortunately there are no um, backlit keyboard on here okay that concludes this video very short one just want to clarify a few things any comments questions well are uh, always welcome and i'll produce some more videos very soon thanks for watching see you on the next video